Hi everyone, today I'm taking a look at the Merlin Deluxe Big Box version by Queen Games. Uh, this is an older Stefan Feld and Michael Renick game from a few years ago now. And I will say I'm not going to be talking about the actual gameplay or anything like that. So I'm purely talking about the storage solution and the upgraded components. If you want to see the reviews of the games that I've made, um, I've done all the expansions and the base game individually, so you can check out those videos. So as you can see, it's a rather large box here and it's probably slightly thicker than your normal um, big box version. And that's probably because it stores a lot of components. So you've got all these game trays here, which store every single component released for Merlin. So I'm going to start off by talking about the individual player um, trays. And I will say these are fantastic. I'm really happy with these. Um, stores everything you need. You've got your, your 100 point markers. You've got your point marker there. You've got your staffs, your um, dice. You've got your markers and everything here in here fits perfectly. And these are great because you can just divide them out at the start of the game and everybody can sort their own player bits out um, without any fuss. So these are fantastic. Nice small little thing and good quality as well. The upgraded components are these um, new kind of marbleized dice where the original ones looked um, were kind of your standard wooden ones that looked like that. I've got a green one here. Um, so you can see they're slightly um, slightly better quality and uh, are plastic and have that marbleized effect. So they're nice um, and I do think they're quite a, quite, a, quite a cool little upgrade if you are into your um, deluxe dice. So these are nice, yeah, I'm happy with these. Next up, we have um, all these these larger trays here, which contain obviously the main base game components. Um, you know, such as your flags here, they all fit in nicely. You've got all the um, environ tiles. Now, I will say I find this a little bit frustrating that there aren't enough um, of these cubby holes in order to fit all the different terrain types in. So you have to double up on a couple of them here, and it would have been a lot better for setup if the if there were say you know three slots deep enough to contain all the water, then all the trees, then all the mountains. So that's a bit annoying, um, a bit of a nitpick, but I think it will be um, noticeable during setup. Uh, all these fit in fine, and you've got your environs board here and so on. So other than that, I think these are absolutely fine. Uh, this one here, in terms of setting up all the flags and bits, um, uh, that's quite nice. You know, you've got all the different colours, um, and but obviously in each game you're going to have to put all these onto the board. Um, so you are pretty much creating a lot more um, space, or you're going to need a lot more space to set up because instead of getting them out of a bag, you're going to have to get these big trays out and um, end up putting them back in as well, which is a bit more fiddly rather than just chucking them in a bag. But I will say that in terms of keeping your components um, in good quality and stop them getting damaged. I think these these game trays are really good, and um, despite them maybe being a bit more fiddly to set up and tear down. You've got your apples there that fit in nicely, and your cards as well here that fit in um, fit in pretty well. And I will say there is, if you want to sleeve your cards, there's a designated spot in the in the box which um, which stores sleeve cards, which I'll show you shortly. Uh, you've got the one here that stores the um, all the invaders or these picks, I think they're called. Um, they they fit in there cool. Uh, you've got all the little bits and bobs here and your obviously your uh, Knights of the Round Table expansion fits in. All these little bits are, are quite fiddly, but I think if anything, um, this has done a good job of actually aiding the setup time because rather than putting all the different little bits and bobs in one big bag, you've actually got them all divided individually. So you can pick your knight that you want to use and um, get rolling uh, a lot faster than usual. This final tray here relates to the... Uh, the new Morgana expansion, and I do like the way this one fits because this is an expansion that you'll use all the time. So it's nice that you can just um, pick and choose which you want to use and just and just pull this tray out. S stores all your little bits and bobs here, your tokens, etc. Again, new marbleized dice there, and your little market board here. This is this is nice. I think this is probably one of the best trays. Uh, stores your, all your coins as well. Um, which I'll probably use those every game anyway, so maybe that would have been better in a more generic tray. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this tray. I think this one is like a, a good example of being modular. Pulling that one out if you want to include the Morgana expansion. So let's take a look at the main box here as well. So I said it's a very large box. And this stores obviously all your bigger cardboard bits. So you've got your main board here. And beyond this, you've got your... Um, all your player boards and below that you've got the kind of king's upgrade board if, if that's what it's called and below that you've got the crown and uh, also the little um, card slots and things so that's all right that's um that all fits in there nice and snug 
so no complaints there really. And beyond that, you've got the new um, the new district boards here, which are fitting again really good, and your expansion uh, rondelles there as well, as well as the uh, the Arthur Player Round Tracker. So this is really nice, and as I said, this is a little slot here where you can put your um, sleeved cards. So that pretty much shows everything that you um, you get in the uh, or, or the storage solution, really. So I'm going to talk about a few more upgraded components. Um, so I didn't mention earlier that you've got these new castle upgrades, which replace the initial cardboard ones, and I think these are a really uh, large improvement. I'm happy with these. They have a lot more presence on the board, and you can see. At a glance, what your um, you know what your presence is in all those environments. So I think that's a, almost a, a necessary upgrade, and um, I'm very happy with those. It just completely fits the aesthetic of this being chink these chunky wooden pieces. Uh, there's also small upgrades in terms of um, these standees. So instead of being cardboard like they were initially, you've got these new acrylic ones here, which are a bit more quality. They're they're not going to get damaged, and um, are going to kind of weather a lot better than the cardboard ones do. So yeah, that's pretty much everything you're going to get in the uh, in the box. You've got this new uh, a new rule book which contains every single rule in and uh, every expansion in. So you've got a one-stop shop there for your rules. And you've also got the um, the new player aid here to show how you pack things away. So I'm just going to um, pack the box and show you how it fits in the uh, in the main box. So here's everything put in the uh, in the big box. Something that I really noticed that's great is that these smaller player pieces, they actually slot into these grooves here on these bigger um, bigger trays to stop them from moving about. So as you can see, they lock into place, which means when you're transporting the game, or whatever, they're not going to be sliding around and battering everywhere. The bigger trays just sit nicely with one each other. They kind of lock into each other. And um, yeah, that, that's going to be a really great job of keeping everything in order and stop things from being damaged. Now, do I think this is a necessity? Uh, I, I think yes and no. So if you've got all the expansions, um, I would definitely recommend getting the big box because otherwise you're gonna to have to have a couple of boxes on your shelf rather than just the one because everything isn't gonna fit in the, um, in the base box. But if you don't have all the expansions, I think you can just about um, cram them into the, uh, into the normal box. Um, so I probably would avoid getting this one because yeah, while the upgraded components are nice, they're not, you know, they're not a necessity and um, it's not cheap either. So it's nice, for, I'm happy that I've got this. It's gonna sit on my shelf and you know, last a long time and um, I've got everything in one area, which, is, which I'm happy with. But in terms of what it's actually, I suppose, made for these game trays, um, it's, it does a good job in one aspect in terms of um, being able to pull out modular expansions. But in another aspect, it's gonna slow things down a little bit because a lot of the base game components are now fiddly um, inserted into different spots. But I suppose that's, um, that's just what you can expect from a big box like this. And I have to say the design and the, you know, the, the vacuum kind of um, ceiling of all these different um, component spots is really well done. It, there's still enough wiggle room to put other bits in here. And um, I'm generally really happy with it. So, you know, if you can afford the luxury of getting this, and, um, and you do value your shelf space, then I would recommend the Merlin Big Box. But otherwise, I think you can give it a pass. But um, I'm happy with it. That is the Merlin Big Box. So I hope you've enjoyed this um, short video. Uh, if you have, please hit like and subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos too. For everyone else, I'll see you next time on Chairman of the Board. Bye.